Hello everyone and welcome to another video and this is going to be kind of a response to the video I did last week. I did PlayStation 2 memories and it seemed like you guys really enjoyed that because I got a lot of messages on Facebook and on YouTube uh, of people just asking me what kind of PlayStation games would I recommend. I get a lot of new collectors and people that were just very curious about my taste in PlayStation 2. So I thought in this video I would do something called PlayStation 2 Recommendations. Now when I was thinking about the different list of games I wanted to talk about, I wanted to kind of stick to some games that I don't really hear a lot of people mention. Uh, not necessarily rare games or uncommon games per se, but games that kind of that might have slipped under the radar. Now there are some games that you definitely will recognize, but some of them hopefully this will kind of make you be like, hey, I want to try this out. So without further ado, let's check out some of the games. Now I'll admit, when it first was released, I passed on playing Beyond Good and Evil. There's no doubt that people who've played this later ask themselves why they haven't played this game sooner. The game has a great and pretty deep story of government conspiracies, great controls, puzzles, and even some racing that makes this game a blast cult classic. A solid beat-em-up with a little bit of Japanese insanity. If you give God Hand a chance, you'll come to appreciate the deep combat system and the over-top funny moves. Actually, everything about this game, from the story to the music to the characters, is funny, wacky, and over the top. Also, all the things that make this game initially frustrating could be maybe the difficulty of just randomness but become less and less likely of a problem as you find yourself slowly mastering the game. I highly recommend this Clover Studios classic. Unless you've lived under a rock, then you already know what the Dragon Quest series is. Dragon Quest VIII is an old school RPG at heart with a wonderful look that really looks like you're playing an anime. This game gives you hours of gameplay and challenge and you'll get lost with its orchestrated music and you'll feel rewarded when you finally beat it. Newcomers to the series, I totally recommend this PlayStation 2 gem. If you're a big fan of games like Power Stone or even Smash Brothers Melee, you just love playing those fighting party games. Godzilla Save the Earth is definitely a must play. It's tons of fun with all your friends, and you have so many different memorable characters to choose from from all the different monster movies. Definitely check this game out. If you love quirky musical adventures, this is your game to play. In addition to colorful presentation, Gotaru Man is actually a bit different than your standard Simon Says rhythm games. Not only does it use the face buttons, but the analog stick as well. Because of this, it requires a lot of hand and eye coordination with both hands at the same time. With a lot of patience, this is a very enjoyable musical rhythm game. Now I'm a huge fan of Japanese RPGs and Mega Man, so there's no doubt I'm a huge fan of Mega Man X Command Mission. Now the music of this game is spectacular, the story is very very good, and the fact that you have different customizations with different characters will have you playing this game for hours. It was so enjoyable, I highly recommend this title. Often mentioned on the list of weirdest games of all time, Mr. Mosquito is all about using stealth and strategy to suck blood from a family of humans. Yes, you observe the daily routines of a family and partake in little target areas of family members' bodies, which is typically only available at certain times during the day. And the result is a game that's strategically compelling and credit can be given to the developers for creating something so original. I'm a huge fan of the Shinobi series, and the PlayStation 2 release is a lot of fun. The battle system doesn't get boring with its hack and slash action, and the graphics and atmosphere still holds up today. You can find it really cheap and you owe it yourself to give it a go. Cold Fear is a game that really dropped under the radar. In this survival horror game you play as Tom Hansen, a veteran Coast Guard who has to investigate an abandoned ship. The game did a great job of making you have that alone feeling. And between the rocking ship and the stormy setting and the monsters you have to face, you'll definitely be on the edge of your seat. Anyway guys, that's some of my PlayStation 2 recommendations. I mean, the PlayStation 2 is a great system. It's a great system to collect for as well because there's still a lot of games that are very affordable. And it has such a large library that honestly, it's hard to play every single game on this system. So if you guys have a PlayStation 2 game you guys recommend, leave a comment below. Let me know. I would love to try some of these games out, maybe make a review of it in the near future. But anyway guys, Thanks for watching and thank you for subscribing and as always, happy gaming.